Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Asher, and this is vlog tw 11. 12? 12. 12. 12. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. Struggle, 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 struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. Yo, ladies and gents, what's going down, man? What's going on? I'm in my new flat right now. I'll give you a quick tour, but that's just long. But this is like the living room, and you've got the kitchen behind me. I'm just cooking a bit of chicken. Yes, I'm a stereotype. And what? And if you wonder why I'm wearing this crazy long ass hat that all your friends used to wear in university back in the day, it's because my hair's a little bit messy. Do you know what? I ain't even ashamed. Check this out. Receding. Let the sun shine on me, shine on me. Let the sun. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. First of all, parody tease. So yeah, guys, as you guys have seen in the last vlog, I went over to Miami from Leeds. Do you know what I mean? So basically, I work for a company called Parody Tees, and they're located in America, in Florida. Basically, the guy found me online. I did a bit of work for Gary Vaynerchuk, got a lot of exposure, loads of exposure, had loads of people reaching out to me as I told you before. I did a bit of freelance work for him initially to see how things went and he loved my stuff and like a couple of weeks down the line it was like bro man I really like your stuff, you should probably just come on full time. So yeah we just make fun and point fun of all the sports personalities out there because it's real fun to do. If you notice in the logo, it's Parody T's Unfan, so we specialise in looking at the unfan, not the fan. So our thing is like, why be a fan of one team when you can be an unfan of all the other teams? You know what I mean? Pick on all the teams you love to hate. If you look at this shirt right now, I'm wearing the Minnesota Vikings shirt, right? But it's not the actual logo, it's the Parody Tees logo. So, you know, the real logo is like Viking looking or angry and whatnot. This little mug is crying, you know what I'm saying? Crying, like horns broken off and stuff like that. And we've got a range of different other stuff on our website. We've got shirts, we've got coasters, we've got mugs. Guys, check out the link, you can see. If you are um, a fan of like college football, college baseball, NFL, check out the link, man. There is so much merchandise on there, not to be missed, not to be slept on. So yeah, with all that, my role is the digital content creator. So when it comes to animation, I'm the guy. When it comes to online content, I'm the guy. When it comes to anything creative, I'm the guy. And you know, the funny thing is, right? I'm working for this company and I know nothing about NFL. The only thing I know is that it's like, I don't know, Americanized rugby and you know, the, the, the players wear pads and what God knows what else, that's it. I mean, th there's no other difference really, is there? Is there? It's weird, but I'll tell you one thing, like, as amazing as this is, it first started really weird because I went from working in hospitality to constantly being around people, constantly being around all those waste people, and now I'm doing exactly what I love. It's great, but it was weird at first because it's just solitude. I'm just by myself, like, you know, working by myself, which I was before with this whole journey, but full time is by myself. And you don't really know how to take it. It's great because I'm doing animation and stuff like that, but you know, no one's there. No one's here, no one's there, no one's there. It's just me. So yeah, it, it kind of took me a minute to adjust to this kind of lifestyle because it's, 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 it's fun. You know what I mean? You pick your own hours. I treat it like a nine to five. I wake up, do my morning plank, uh, maybe make some oatmeal, um, chill for a bit, and then just get into it. So I either work here or work in the library because I've been getting a bit of cabin fever lately, like just surrounded by these four walls. And like, oh my god, I really don't know what to do. But yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's absolute bliss, man. I'm doing what I love doing full time, getting paid for it. This is what I strive for, man. But you know, it's it's it's, it's one of them things. Like you wait and wait and wait and wait for a yes. You create your own yes, but when you get it, you don't believe it. It's really weird. Because you're so used to being told no, you're so used to the struggle and all this and all that, and then when you finally get there, you, you just don't know how to accept it. But yeah, man, loving what I'm doing, absolutely loving being able to wake up in the morning, knowing that I can do what I love doing the best, and that's making animations, being creative, making cartoons, all of that. 
um, you know, being at the service industry feels absolutely amazing. You know, it's, it's been a long time coming, but as cliche as it sounds, I always say, like, you just need to keep going and not give up. This isn't even the end of the line for me. It's an amazing opportunity what this guy's granted me, but I'm not getting complacent. You know, I'm gonna stay on my grind, keep learning about the new technologies, keep learning about the new digital trends because it's changing all the time. If you stay static, you will lose.